What's the matter? I've been getting death threats. You mean death threats? Not this time. You and then me! You and then me! I'm waiting on! Dying! Dying! Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, pour favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man. So, Judge McAfee from Fulton County, the superior judge, has finally made his ruling, okay? After weeks of agonizing and anguish and speculating, he finally made his decision, okay? We talked about the perjury. We talked about her lying under oath, Mr. Wade lying under oath. Um, we talked about Terrence Bradley flip-flopping, said yes, and, you know, then he forgets what he said. <laughs> we talked about the conflict of interest. We talked about her using taxpayer dollars to enrich herself, to go on lavishing trips. All that, all that, and Judge McAfee says, nah, she's good. <laughs> she can stay on the case. Yes. My wish was that he had disqualified the whole team and actually recommended a criminal investigation of, of uh, Willis and her, her boyfriend. Uh, that's what I wanted, but I predicted he would try to split the baby in half, and I think the baby died. Uh, the opinion makes no sense at all. Uh, it's not uh, essentially an honest opinion in the end. We all saw, we all saw the obvious conflict of interest. We all saw that she lied on the witness stand about her relationship and when it started. We all saw that she lied when she said she paid back every single penny, although I didn't keep any records of it. There are no ATMs. I didn't take a photograph of the money. I know I have an obligation under the rules of Georgia to make sure that every penny is paid back, but I was just going to have my word uh, be enough to defend that. The judge applied the wrong standard, the wrong legal rule, but most importantly, he didn't, he didn't tell us what we all know, that this is corrupt to the core and that it can't be solved by sacrificing uh, uh, Nathan Wade and saying, look, look, let's get rid of him. We'll keep the rest of the office on. I told you guys that Judge McAfee was compromised. He used to work for Fannie Willis. And during her campaign, he even donated some money to her campaign. Now, it's only 150 bucks, but he just did not disclose that to us. He hid that from the public until, you know, the internet snoops came and figured that out. So from then, we already knew he was compromised. And you can see the way that Fonnie Willis was acting, that she already knew from the get-go that she was going to get off. She doesn't get disqualified. She's not going to get disbarred. And she gets to stay on the case. Now, who got the news? was Nathan Wade. They said, Nathan Wade is going to be either you or her. And you already know that big ego of the AKA, she was not going to step down. So Mr. Wade had to fall onto the sword. Still, no disbarment, no jail time for lying under oath, none of that. Because it is a 
bit of a confusing ruling when he says, the judge says, well, I don't believe Nathan Wade. I don't really even believe Robin Yurdy. I don't believe Terrence Bradley. I'm not going to say anything about Bonnie Willis. How can you say that Nathan Wade is not credible, but Bonnie Willis doesn't get tarred with that? Remember, she adopted the affidavit. Okay, now, if she was a white person, if Bonnie Willis was a white person, they would have buried her. But, you know, she went to Big Bethel and played the race card and says, the white man is after me, even though she's in charge. She's the top cop there. Oh, Lord, they gonna be mad when I call them out on this nonsense. First thing they say, oh, she gonna play the race card now. But no, God, isn't it them who's playing the race card when they only question one? Uh -huh. Isn't it them playing the race card when they constantly think, I need someone from some other jurisdiction in some other state to tell me how to do a job I've been doing almost 30 years. But she came into the church and, and kind of poisoned the well already by saying they're coming after me, even though she says that she's not on trial. I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. So, my question. So, there it goes. Let's take a listen to Megyn Kelly. I see this as a judge who found a way to tell us he gets it, he condemns her and Nathan Wade, he doesn't trust them. He thinks they're liars and unethical, but he saved his own hide. He made sure that he can still run and potentially win re-election in Fulton County, which went 73% for Joe Biden. He found a way to thread the needle to protect himself while throwing them under the bus as much as he felt comfortable. Yep, yep. Gorilla Grip is back at it again. She's gonna, you think she was bad. You think she was sassy and had an attitude. Now she's going to stay on this case. She's like a wet hen. She's going to be, you're going to really see her ass now. You know what I'm saying? She's going to, but she's going to make up another mistake again. She's not bright. She's another DEI hire, another affirmative action hire. She just, uh, she don't have it all. If you know what I mean, ski wee. She doesn't have it all. So yeah, they're going to let her go along with the case, but she's going to fumble it. They think this actually has a decent chance of getting overturned on appeal in, in Trump's favor because the judge does not look like he applied the right legal standard. I mean, it was really just kind of tortured to get to. No actual conflict, but on the appearance of impropriety, yes, but it can be cured, but only one of the bank robbers has to go, to use Jonathan Turley's analysis. Just, just one of you caught in the vault is off the case. The other, as long as you don't continue stealing, it's fine. <laughs> no, no consequences for the past stealing. It's going to take some time for them to find another jury. It might take another year for them to find a jury that's going to go through this case. And by that time, Trump will be elected. So, and then he's going to, you know, do away with all this caca shit. But congratulations, Fani. All right, Miss Gorilla Grip. You go do your thing, okay? <laughs> anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe, you see that notification bell, turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right, till next time guys, I'll see you again. And all you gorillas, get off my lawn.